So are you ready to step forward and seal this well? I'm going to ask you to make your commitments public through a question of intent. So Spencer, do you take Anna to be your wife? Do you commit yourself to her? To be responsible in the marriage relationship? To give yourself to her in love and in work? To invite her fully into your being so that she can know who you are? To cherish her above all others and to respect her individuality, encouraging her to be herself and to grow in all that God intends? If this is your intent, please answer And do you take Spencer to be your husband? And do you commit yourself to him to be responsible in the marriage relationship, to give yourself fully to him in love and work, to invite him fully into your being so that he can know who you are, and to cherish him above all others and to respect his individuality, encouraging him to be himself and to grow in all that God intends? If this is your intent, please answer that. Now to all of you witnessing today, you've gathered here because Spencer and Hannah have a special place in their heart for each one of you. They ask that you would continue to hold them accountable in their lives and in their relationship. Continue in your roles of nurture and support that has meant so much to them in their lives. So I'm going to ask you to make a commitment to this couple. Do you, the family and friends of Spencer and Hannah, promise to uphold and cherish them as husband and wife? Do you promise to encourage them with words and action? Do you promise to love them through all situations that they will face? And do you promise to be part of their life and give them the freedom to discover who they are as a married couple in the Lord? If this is your intention, would you please Bless this couple by giving a loud, meaningful, and with feeling, we do. We do! Amen. Did you hear that? <laughs> in John chapter 13, it says that in Jesus' last moments here on earth, he gathered those that he loved most dearly, and he wanted to express to them the fullness of his love for each one of them. And so he gets up, grabs a towel, pours water in a basin, and he gets down before each one and washes their feet. It was a sign of love, commitment, controlled strength, humility, and servanthood. And when Jesus returned to his place, he said this, A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also are to love one another. By this, people will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. Spencer and Hannah would like to begin their marriage following Jesus' example of showing each other the fullest extent of their love for one another. Thank you. 
give my life fully to you with holding nothing. I give my life fully to you with holding nothing. I promise to work at our love. I promise to work at our love. Laying myself down for our marriage. Laying myself down for our marriage. Always making you a priority. Always making you a priority. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I promise to put Christ first in our marriage. I promise to put Christ first in our marriage. To be sent to my, my husband. I give my life fully to you without withholding nothing. I promise to work at our love, laying myself down for our marriage, always making you a priority. I promise to be faithful to you, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in power. I promise to put Christ first in our marriage, relying on Him to sustain and uphold us. I promise to always pursue openness and honesty with you. I promise to love and to protect, to honor and to cherish you for the rest of my life. Spencer and Hannah have chosen these rings to be a symbol to the world of their love for one another. The wedding ring symbolizes purity and completeness. The purity of the metal symbolizes the purity of their love for one another. And the unending circle symbolizes the unending nature of this love. So Spencer, take this ring. Place it on Hannah's finger. And as you do, repeat after me. Hannah, I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am and all that I have, I honor you. Hannah, take this ring. Put it on Spencer's finger and repeat after me. Spencer, I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am, and all that I have, I honor you. Join me as we pray for this couple. Father God, we thank you for what we just witnessed. Two becoming one in your eyes. We ask your great care upon them. We ask that you would protect and guard their love and their relationship that you would grow them with your wisdom, that you would continue to grow the, a love within them that is undeniable, and that you would provide for them for all the days they are together. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now that Spencer and Hannah have made these commitments before God and all of us here, I declare them to be husband and wife in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. What God has joined together, let no one separate. So this is the moment that you guys have been waiting for. You get the camera, cameras ready. Spencer, you may now kiss your wife.